Hey there and happy Friday. I hope you guys are anticipating a fun weekend and have some things planned maybe. So um, I was like uh, hearing what you guys are up to because some things can still go on um, with COVID and other things can't, which is always a bummer. But um, I love hearing when you guys email or call or text me and I know that you guys are up to fun stuff and usually the weekend is when that happens. Hey there, Tori. You're finally catching me live. It's been a little bit. I know you always watch the replay or catch the picture. So it's good to see your name up here. Um, so today I'm doing card number 10 and I'm going to swap out... Um, my uh, iPad for my card that I'm making for you guys. So let's do that. Card number 10, I'm kind of excited about it. I th thought it turned out kind of cute. So it's using the Dino Days stamp set and the Dino Dies Dies. Say that again. Um, hey there, Pam and Lisa and Mary and not sure. <laughs> they all came up all at once. So it's like, oops. So, um, yeah, so I thought the, the, di the dino guys have been so cute and it always catches my eye. And I know one year at stamp camp, we use the sets in pinks and different colors for, um, uh, for Valentine's and it turned out really cute. And I was just going over this with a friend um, as I was designing it, like, hey, what do you think or what should I do for a greeting? Because the sentiments, it's so hard to know. So I'm going to show you some of those. Hey, Randy, make sure, Lisa, that you tell Randy hello. I often wonder how many hubbies are like, oh my goodness, there goes my wife again listening to that bell lady. <laughs> so um, yes, and um, with that, I will show you different sentiments, kind of what I almost use, and yet I wanted to keep it something very usable so that those that are receiving my stamp camp cards this month will have something that you can get and use and not go, it's cute, but you know, I have to wait to use it for that certain um, occasion too. So um, let me get this turned around here to show you. So yeah, we are already on card number 10 for the month and it is only April 16th. So just cruising right along and it probably helps that it's um, starting to gear into spring um, planting here on the farm because then I have more time to myself sometimes sometimes I end up running with them too okay so here it is and it says your roar some Rar some. There we go. Okay, so I almost um, put on here, look who's hatched, because I thought that could be really fun for a baby card. And the other fun thing about look who's hatched with it being a baby card is so often now um, people have their baby showers before the baby's born. Sometimes they don't know if it's a boy or a girl, or sometimes you just like to have cards on hand. So with this being green, it could be boy or girl or something like that, you know. So I always like cards that can be very versatile uh, to have on hand as well too so um and then thanks for being a friend of Soros. I think that's so cute too and this is the sentiment I put with it when we did it um back a while ago for Valentine's Day I love you this much it's more than it looks and that we put together with this guy that I'm using today with a little stubby arm so yes hi Mary and Pam uh, yes, yeah for an old geezer too you know <laughs> that's what I love about our products is my son's uh, 24th birthday is coming up over the weekend. I'm like, I wonder if I could get away with making him one of these, you know, you just never know. He might think it's kind of cool. Um, and sometimes just to think like my kids see all the products and I never know like if their cards that they get from me are that special because they see it all the time or is it because maybe it is special because they, they do get their own. Okay, so from the annual catalog, this is exciting news. I have to tell you this. Um, so this is on page 98 the stamp sets only $21 on page 98 for all of this but when I looked after I designed my card you guys I went online just to make sure that the products that I'm using today are available and such the dino dies are only $14 these dies you get all of these plus the um, plus these three that I'm using today. This is a different set, but these three plus all of these were $35. They are now $14. And so when I added the cost of the stamp set and the cost of the reduced price of the dies, that came to $35. So you could get the stamp set and the dies now for $35, which is the cost of what the dies were just um, alone last month. So I was pretty excited about that, as you can tell. 
And so um, I, then I'm always hoping like maybe some of you guys got these dies already so that you don't feel like you have to make one more purchase because you guys, if you know me, it's not like you have to buy things all the time. Hey there, Kay. Um, so I do like to show you if you have things like, hey, this is a fun way to um, use this and such, but I had to pass that along. Another thing to keep in mind, um, one of my customers, and I never mention names because sometimes I think not everybody wants to know who's buying what and how much and everything, but um, I had a certain customer who wanted, um, and this is kind of sidetracking, but important to know too, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, I must have a dry throat again today. Allergy season. Okay, so one of my customers wanted the World of Good Sweet, and I was helping her order, and she's like, could you order me that before it's gone for $104.50? So um, what I did is I broke up the cost of the stamp set and... Um, the dies, so instead of $48.50, the stamp set was like $23. The dies were $7.50. So that was saved um, money there. And all of these products, except for the ribbon, all of them like were on sale. And so um, it brought it down from $104.50 to like $63. Um, so I thought that was kind of exciting and wanted to share that with you too. So um, that retiring list, sometimes you kind of look at it and go, do I need that? But then you see the difference and go, that's pretty cool. All right. So let's see. And also before I get started, what I loved about the card was the bright, fun paper. And if you know me, stripes and polka dots are my favorite designs so you see this fun um, polka dot paper and I'll flip it over and you might go where is that from it is from the ice cream corner DSP from the mini catalog so this is to punch out fun little ice cream cone scoops but then it's like oh how fun is this it's kind of got the um, old olive tone to it but I'm kind of um, tying that in together with some granny apple green for a really nice bright pop. So let me get started on this. Um, oh, you know, I get started on the card and I always do it different from you guys maybe than how I originally do it. So let me think how I want to do this. Actually, I know what I want to do. I want to stamp first um, the dinosaur. So I'm going to pull out my granny apple green ink pad here and like he's just the cutest and the hardest thing today because I hadn't picked out the paper yet was trying to decide what color I should ink him up in just because he's so darn cute and I think my grandson would totally love um, working with this guy um, so that's granny apple green and even though there's this kind of spiky tail there that we need to wait and if you were at my stamp camp you'll know why this might make sense and if you have the set or are thinking of getting it I'm loving that I'm doing this as a video so I can help you cut yours out with good success so um, let me separately then actually no I don't want to get too many things on my cutting plate here um, kind of makes sense like do we ever have um, sometimes have too much on our plate? Like literally, um, I don't want to put too many things on my cutting plate. Okay, <laughs> so I am going to outline this guy first and then I can always do a second run through. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to get him lined up. And then this is from the um, retiring stitched nested labels dies, um, which I'm sad that that's leaving, but I'm just going to set that on there. And then we have one of these egg halves, which is kind of fun because that is um, kind of cut jagged like a popped open egg. I love that. So I'm just gonna run this through here. Oh no. Actually, I'm gonna squirt it back. Did you see my dinosaur move? I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna just move this here. And I think this cut out this, there we go. So that is part of the reason why I was afraid maybe I was putting too many things on all at once. So I'm gonna set that egg aside because it did cut out. Okay, I'm just gonna line this back up again. There we go, and I'm gonna just set this here for now. Okay, now it shouldn't move and I should be able to press in part of it. I was trying to hold it down because I have this paper on here and sometimes it makes my um, die cutting machine want to move a little bit. 
Um, oh yeah. And Lisa says, please not bar, not Barney. And I think that's part of it. Like I did think, oh, he would look really cute in purple. Um, and like my kids grew up with Barney and it was kind of fun, but, um, I'm not even going to go, um, anything with the song because we know how that ends, especially on the weekend you'll have it stuck in your head. And I wouldn't do that to you guys. Okay. So next I'm going to take this paper here and stamp out the little spine here so I'm going to going to pull up this stamp here and it's really nice that this stamp set is photopolymer too for lining things up although we don't really have to line up the stamping here because we're going to end up kind of just taping it okay so I've got that I'm trying to think if there's anything else to cut out I could cut out the second egg shape that I'm going to use but I already did that ahead of time Okay, so now this is going to go through here like so. And this is the important part is, um, wait a minute, here we go. The important part is when you line this up, and I'm going to get move my camera here, um, is, oh, Pam's asking a question. Do you use the mini or the large cut and emboss machine more? I use my large one more. Um, I'll be honest, just because like this, I can fit several things on. And then for the embossing folders, I know there's smaller embossing folders. And um, then I can use every size with the large, but I will say I went to crafting retreat and sometimes when I have a smaller desk area, the small one's really nice. It can sit there and hardly take up any room, but that's a great question, Pam. Okay, so what I'm zooming in now is, okay, oops, here we go. You can see I have the die and I'm putting the die as close as I can to the bumps and then you can see that there's white all left over, which looks really awkward. So if you're using this die set, make sure that you line up according to the bumps, not according to um, the swirl there that looks kind of like the candy cane. Okay, now let me put down my camera again so I have both hands to run this through. And it'll make sense here in a second, but I know the first time I used it, I went, oh my goodness, is my die set wrong? And then I knew I had to teach everybody at stamp camp and then it all made sense. Okay, so as I pop this out here, there we go, we have that. I'm um, gonna set that aside. I think we're all done running things through. So then what is super cool about this and putting this together then is that I'm going to put my adhesive on the back of, whoops, every once in a while just kind of loses its starting point there. Um, so I'm going to put adhesive back here and then where that little cute arm is, it just kind of goes in between those bumps and then you can just line that up. So having that little extra white piece is where it's going to stick to the body and then it lines up perfectly. How cool is that? It's almost like Stampin' Up um, created this especially to work. Of course they did. <laughs> so that is all done. So now I've got two of these egg halves and I need my... Um, photopolymer stamp mat here and I thought it'd be kind of fun to put a little bit of a design on on the egg so I'm going to take my old olive here and ink that up and let's see I'm going to have one egg going like this so I'm going to kind of put it in the middle and then without re-inking I'm going to just ink off to make it lighter on both sides of that and then actually I'm going to put this underneath because I kind of want it to almost go off and that'll work out okay so I'm going to put one in the middle here and then kind of stamp off there I like it closer to the edge so if I have this for a little bit of um, waste paper then I like that it's closer not that this is bad but I like it closer to the edge there okay so that is done and now we can start doing some assembly so the card base today is Granny Apple Green, which is that really fun, bright color. I like that it's not too bright either. Um, so um, it's five and a half by four and a quarter, opening this long way today, like so. And then I'm going to take, like I said, that fun ice cream corner paper here, and I'm going to tape that down. And I love polka dots so much that it, even though this paper is super cool on the side, I didn't have too much trouble going, ah, 
let's use the polka dots today. So I'm just gonna, going to put that down and the polka dots are cut four inches by five and a quarter here. And then I cut this um, a little bit smaller just because I wanted as much as possible for that uh, fun paper to kind of stick out behind there. So this is cut three and a half by five inches, which uh, three and a half by five, then you can get one, two, three, four, five of these pieces out of an eight and a half by 11, which is always good to know too. This is all ready, whoops, to be tacked down. So I'm going to put that on next and I'm gonna just scoot it down a little bit towards the bottom, leaving a little bit more at the top. So that's on purpose. And then I'm going to take my eggs here, my halves, and get some tape on them just so that they're ready. And same with this little dude here. On the bottom, I'm going to put some more adhesive, but I'm also going to pop him up on the top here in a little bit. So what I kind of want to do is kind of just lay it out and go, this is how I want this to look like this and like this. And yet I want to be able to sneak him in there like so, but I don't want to really press down yet because I want to make sure that there's room for my sentiment and I need to stamp that out. And that's where the your raw some, roar some or however, <laughs> raw, um, your roar some, there we go, is coming into play. So that I'm stamping in the old olive just to give it a darker look there. And then I'm going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals. My sheet, I must have adhesive on it, kind of wants to stick and move with me. I'm going to put about three Dimensionals here on the sentiment and get that popped up. And I don't know if you're like me, I often just kind of place things and then once I'm um, sure of where I want it, then I press it down. So the sentiment for sure I know I want here. So I'm going to give that a good press and I'm still not going to press him down because I'm going to sneak in um, a couple dimensionals. So I put some of the seal tape on the bottom of him, but now I'm going to put a couple dimensionals here so that he actually is popped up to be that same level as this but I didn't want to pop him up and try and keep these things uh, nailed down too. So that kind of works good. So it's flat here and popped up here. So you can kind of see that there. Um, and then before I get that taped or tacked down too um, securely, now I'm going to use some of my white Baker's twine and I'm pulling this. This is from the mini catalog snail mail twine combo pack so if you guys have it there's the pink and the white together it comes in oops excuse me got my <laughs> my white twine wrapped around my camera stand okay so it comes in the two pack of the pink and the white together so now I kind of want to just lift up the egg here and secure that underneath there whoops I don't wanna pull it too much because I still have to make my knot. I'm gonna wrap it around twice. There we go. And now I can press down firm on that because it is wrapped around. And then you guys know me, I rarely do bows. So this is going to be a knot. So I'm just going to take and make a knot here towards the top and then take my um, ribbon cutting scissors to cut that down. Thank you, Pam. Like I said, I had so much fun with this today. Like, um, I think it was like the bright colors that made me happy about it. <laughs> okay, so now I just want to get that out of there. And I just kind of want to make this be kind of even here on the top and on the bottom a little bit more. Okay, so we have that all tape down here. Okay, hi, Jane. And then, um, now for the inside, your roar sum could be like happy birthday. It could be like sometimes a friend does something for you and this could be a thank you or such. And so once again, I want this to be um, very usable. One of the sentiments from 
the stamp set too is um, I love you this much it's more than it looks and that could go together with it but yet not everybody like especially friends do you want to say I love you too so that might be a little bit much for pushing it so I'm just going to take and um, for those that are receiving this card this month I'm just going to tape in a white blank inset to this too and I always try and think okay is there any way that I can kind of follow through with the theme and such too and I thought well here's some cute little tracks but I kind of felt like these tracks were more like for other um, dinosaurs versus his cute little stubby feet here so I'm just gonna leave that I think it's better left alone I have a tendency to kind of do the add more and then regret it <laughs> and so the other thing that I was noticing that um for adding an embellishment. Oh, thanks, Tori. I'm loving it too. Um, hopefully, like humbly loving it. I, it's sometimes thrilling when you start to put a card together and it really like takes off and you're not sure if that's what you're expecting or not. So it's kind of fun. Um, but when I was thinking of embellishments, I thought this area just seemed a little blah. And I thought maybe I should have just taken this whole sheet and ran it through like an embossing folder or something. But instead, I thought, let's add some embellishments. Um, and so when I used the snail mail combo pack, um, within that same snail mail suite are the resin hearts embellishments. And I use these quite often around, um, uh, Valentine's and such, but I thought, you know what, these are going to be perfect for all sorts of other occasions. So tiny little hearts in white and real red. Hi there, Pam. Thanks for joining in. So I'm just going to kind of go one and just angle them slightly kind of um, every which way. Whoops, that one wants to stick. It's pretty tiny, these hearts are. Kind of almost wants to stick more to my um, tacky stuff on my take your pick tool. So I'm just gonna add three little hearts in here to fill in that space. And then it just really um, adds to it. And it follows the theme of being monochromatic with the green and white today, and it fills just that need that is was there and now it's taken care of so that is today's card here and if you're just joining in keep in mind like I said um, the dino dies that I'm using today to do this and that and the tail um, just uh, $14 you guys I was so excited to see that just because they're so cute so yeah you can get the stamp set and the dies um, until they sell out because it's on the retiring list um, for the same price as just the dies um, alone. So kind of fun. And I know some of you have it, at least I'm not naming any names, but I know some of you already have these products. And so that's what's fun. Um, I get a little sad about the retiring list, like, oh no, that's going. But then the fun thing is taking it out, using it again, because sometimes I, I focus on what's new and it's times like this, that's like, oh, this made me fun or uh, made me happy today to do something fun with a stamp set that I really like. And maybe I would have focused on something newer, but because it's retiring, then it kind of forced me to um, to pull it out. And I'm so glad I did. Kind of a good way to kick off the weekend on a happy note for that. So thank you, Kay. And um, I'll be back again Monday. So even though this was stamp camp card number 10, and on one of my videos earlier in the week, I thought um, I was going to be demoing for my next virtual hostess, Lois Anderson. Her code opened up, but I'm not going to do her demos till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the following following week which is the last week of April um, and uh, so next week I will do some more demos um, just for stamp camp um, projects because some of these um, things that I'm working with um, there's not always like exactly enough of the products left on Stampin' Up's end to send me and such and so if I do more cards this month for demos then I'll, I can ensure that everybody's getting a set of 10 cards that is ordering and fulfilling it on my end that way for you guys so how to get the 10 cards is that you can um uh, place a minimum $75 order um, that's before shipping and handling using the april stamp camp code and then uh, you'll get a set of 10 cards from me or if you say hey bell i want the cards um then it's 22 dollars for the set of 10 and i mail them out when they're ready so i'm looking forward to seeing some of you pop on again on monday and um have a great weekend guys see you then Bye bye